Infrastructure Australia will work with the National Transport Commission to develop a national port strategy. This was one of the recommendations of the inquiry into coastal shipping. The strategy will identify the most effective regulatory and governance frameworks, assess ways to improve land planning and critique the future infrastructure requirements of Australia's ports. The strategy is a collaborative effort involving the ports themselves, industry and the states and territory governments, aimed at improving the productive capacity of our port infrastructure. This can't be done by government alone. It's important that government engage with industry, with the workforce through uh, their elected representatives in unions, and that we're able to move forward together with a reform program. That always won't be easy. Some people, whether they be in industry or in the union movement, are going to have to get used to the fact that we can't continue to just do things as they've been done in the past. We need to acknowledge, though, that the status quo uh, has, been, uh, has been found uh, to be wanting by the facts of the decline that has occurred over the last decade. So we can keep things as they are, drift slowly south, and then uh, look back and say, well, we had an opportunity, but we didn't like a particular aspect. We didn't, uh, weren't all that happy because uh, the minister, you know, appointed the wrong person somewhere. Or we can actually get real, act with maturity, act in a collaborative fashion. Because uh, the fact is, when I get around the cabinet table talking about reform, when I spoke about the shipping industry having difficulty getting up the agenda, it's real and you all know it's real. You all know it's real. Shipping doesn't make the front pages of the paper until there's a disaster. <coughs> that means that means that the task of reform is that much harder than it is for uh, somewhere where there's a focus. Rail and roads are on the front page every day, every day, somewhere in the country. In my clips, there's a story about rail, there's a story about road congestion. It's not a story about, it's unfortunate that we haven't got a ship to take, do the task from point A to point B. So, Unless we actually move forward in that way, then reform will be difficult because people will fall back, fall back on, on doing nothing. So I'd encourage you, I'd encourage you to work with the government to progress this agenda because we do have a shared destination which is a stronger and a more sustainable Australian shipping industry into the future. Thank you very much.